Hello everyone, I'm Emily Powers and today I'm going to paint some uh, trees and there's a road going down through them and it's going to be I think really fun and I'm going to show step by step how I paint this in acrylics and the supplies that I'm using are in the description and there's also some links in the description where you can buy some of the supplies. Um, also for the brushes there's a link um, to the brush guys for the brushes and you can get 5% off if you use the code EMILYART and also I just opened my Etsy shop so you can check that out in the description as well. So I'm going to start by getting my 1 inch number 12 bright. It's Princeton Summit and I'm going to dip it in my water and get most of it off on a rag to the side. I'm going to spray my canvas and I'm not going to draw anything out because I think it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to do some of the like background for the sky and then the ground down here. So I don't think I'm going to draw anything. So I already sprayed my paint to keep that wet and then spraying the canvas will help the paint go on better. So. I'm going to get mostly white, but it's going to be a little bit of like a bluish color. Mostly white. I'm just going to get a little tiny bit of blue on my brush. Just barely change the color and then just a tiny bit of phthalo green. And first I'm going to do that little tiny bit um, of color up in the sky. So it's mainly white at the moment. And then I'm going to get a little bit more blue and more green. You can get some water to help the paint flow better and I'm just going to blend that in mix a little bit more you don't need a whole lot of those colors at all at this point Just get a tiny bit more of each one. Get a little darker. And I want to go kind of fast so that what I already put is not going to dry before I get back to it. And I'm just going to blend it in. There's quite a bit of white right here. I already used almost all of my white. All right, and I'm going to get this darker blue. Put it over here. And I'm going to mix, just make it a little darker. Get And just put some of that. All right. And I'm going to get more white a lot more white
All right, and now I'm going to quickly rinse this brush out and I'm going to, while it's still wet, you could do it when it's dry, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it when it's wet. And I'm going to get a 3 8 inch deer foot. Um, actually, I, I didn't wet it. I almost did, but I didn't. Um, so it's a 3 8 inch deer foot. It's Princeton Select. And I'm going to get this darker color and maybe just get a little bit more white with it. So it's a little darker. And I'm just going to tap that in this lighter area and make it have some tree uh, texture back here. And you can turn your brush, make it different shapes and you could use um, really any brush that'll give you like some of this tree texture get some of the darker kind of blend it out just a little bit get a little bit of white and I can do some white and put some white in here where it's lighter some white. I'm going to put it on top of some of this darker blue and just a little bit and just kind of go around in circles. If you have like a big blob of paint on your brush and do try to do this it would just kind of spread a bunch of white paint around but um, I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush and get some of that blue out and dip it in the water and put it off to the side. And then I'm going to go back with my uh, big brush here and I'm going to get some burnt umber and yellow ochre. and. I think I'm just going to do this whole bottom section down here. Except I may make it a little darker when I get to the sides. So I'm going to get some burnt umber and phthalo blue. Make it a dark, really dark color. And I'm going to do that to the side back here. Just go over that uh, blue just a little bit. And let's see, it's it's kind of like if this is the middle and this is the quarter mark it's going to be in between those two. So like right in 
here. Right in here somewhere. So I'm going to do the horizon right there. So there's the first layer, and I want that to dry before I, um, I want the paint that I'm going to be going on top of to be dry before I go onto it. So I'm going to rinse this brush out, and I may be able, this uh, sky may be dry enough that I can do some trees back there. So I'm going to just rinse that out, and... I'm going to get my 3 8 inch angle shader and I'm going to dip it in the water and I'm going to start with the color that I used for the background. Get some water with it and then I'm going to get a little bit more of the blue and some brown and maybe get some more white so it's not so bright and get some green some more brown blue just want to get it the right color before I use it because once I use it then that's going to be what's there. I mean I can wipe it off if it's still wet but once it dries I'd have to kind of erase it if I wanted to change it. Alright so that's a pretty good cl uh, color like a kind of green blue but it's also got some brown so it's not so bright. And then I'm going to get some white with it. I just want it a little darker than the background back here. It's actually still too dark. So I'm going to get some white, some water. And that's better. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more of like the blue and the green so that it's a little brighter and not as brown. And I'm just going to go back here where there's lots of trees and just let me even get some of the darker color since it's darker back here the dark color back here
to get more white. some right here. I didn't really do any. Okay. Now I'm going to do more dark dark trees so I'm gonna get a little bit more of the green and the blue and get the brown I think I need to get more of the brown and maybe the blue So it's a little bit more gray. And I ended up getting some of that burnt sienna. That's fine. It's kind of, there's like so many trees back here you can't even really see. And I'm not going all the way to the top because I'm probably going to go back with some um, white or like a blue and kind of fade out those tops. Alright, so before I do too much more, I want to know where my road is going to go. So I'm going to rinse that out. And I'm going to get some chalk. It's just regular white chalk. And I'm going to say that if this is half and this is the quarter, I'm going to make the road kind of be like over here. And then it ends kind of like on the third. That. So I'm going to do like this. And kind of in, in the middle of this it's going to go off to the side. Erase that line there.
do this goes straight up and be just a little slanted and then all right so doesn't have to be super detailed but that's kind of sort of I'm really liking this side. Alright, so now I know where I want my big trees to go, so I want one big tree I'm just going to do several where I want it to be really thick with trees. that out and um, I'll just say real quick that if you enjoy this video please give it a like and subscribe um, I post a new video every Friday on my channel so if you want to um, see some more videos you can hit Emily Powers Art right below the video and it will take you to my channel. Um, I'm going to get this deer foot again and I think I'm going to do like up in the, well let me do that. Uh, I'm just going to get a little bit of white and fade let's see let me get some water and then get most of it off of my brush I'm going to fade this out some to get some of the green and blue with it and do some more tree texture and kind of cover over those leaves some. It's still supposed to be really, I want it really bright up here. Yeah. 
And I guess you don't have to um, completely cover the trees. They can be a little faded at the top, I guess. But whatever you want to do. All right, I think that's all that I'm going to do um, for the back. You could keep working on it, do some more of that at the top, but I think that's all I'm gonna do for the moment. And um, I will just get some of this really light color and do some Even if these trees aren't in the picture, I just want to have a little bit, like some really small trees back there, so that it doesn't look weird. All right, rinsing that out, and I'm going to get that same deer foot, and I'm going to get the green mostly. Mostly green and some phthalo blue. And I'm just going to see what happens if it's just by itself. Get a little tiny bit of burnt sienna darken it a little bit, make it not so bright, and then I'm going to kind of use it and kind of pull down into the side a little bit and kind of make some like tree, like leaf. Leaf shapes. And then I can get some more green and some burnt sienna. And some more burnt sienna this time. And some dark. Okay, I'm going to get the green, some more green, you don't have to do these leaves I guess, but 
I think it hopefully will make it look good in the end. I'm going to rinse this out with my brush and I'm going to kind of cover up the bottoms of these trees. I'm going to get some burnt sienna. And actually, I'll probably, um, I'll probably, um, get some more of my brown out first. Let me just rinse that out. Uh, I'll pause the video and get out some more paint. All right. So, um, I still don't like, it's not blended very good, like I, I need, that tree is just kind of like stopping in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to get some of this green and some blue. And more white. A lot more white. And... I'm just going to kind of tap it in at first and then I can kind of blend it in when it gets down so that it looks kind of like fog or something. Just right there, go. All right, and now I was gonna take this and get the burnt sienna and some burnt umber. Just going to tap kind of lightly at first and put some of this like reddish color in, in these bushes. brown and a little bit of white and brown I can cover these trees a little bit with this color. Alright, now I'm going to get some brown and some phthalo blue. And that'll make a really dark, really dark color. And I can put it in the areas in here that I want to have some really dark bushes. And I'm just going to get some white with this 
red color. Now I'll just do a little bit. Let's see. It needs to be a lot more white. Some white back here. Alright. And I'll get some yellow ochre and burnt sienna. And I'll just tap that in the grass where it's brighter. Actually, I should get some of this dark color and do some dark in here a little bit. You can use a smaller brush when you get up there. If you want to get this yellow it's kind of like orange Get some green. Put some green in here. There's some green grass. burnt sienna and some yellow and some burnt umber that out. You can get a little bit of blue, my brown. more white kind 
kind of blend the top of the bushes back there like that and then get the brighter color Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush out. Alright, so I uh, cleaned my palette off there. And I'm going to um, get out another brush. This is my 3 8 inch Lunar Blender. Um, and it's Princeton Select, like my dear foot. I'm not going to Put this one in the water either. I'm going to take some burnt umber and phthalo blue and some white. Alright, and I'm going to do go back and forth on this path, this road. And if you didn't like it having like the two tire tracks, you could just do one. Uh, you could just take this um, section of grass out and just do one big path and that might make it easier if you don't want to do the two. bit of green to this. to get that out of my brush now and I think I want to do some of these big trees that are darker in front so I'm going to get my 3 8 inch angle shader I'm going to get make a dark color with some burnt umber and blue maybe get some burnt sienna Maybe some of the phthalo green. Oops. My brush was wanting to roll away. Uh, I guess I need more brown again. Okay. 
All right, so I just got out some brown. My brown paint is getting low, so it's very hard to get out of the tube now. But I just got some brown with what I already mixed. And I'm just going to rinse that out. Probably with that much paint, I should have used a palette knife to just mix it up so it doesn't get all in my bristles of my brush, but it's okay. All right, so I'll get some of this dark color that I made. And I'm going to do the main ones. So like this one right in here. And then once I get the two sides, I can fill in the middle. We'll probably have to definitely actually have to go back over because it's very see-through at the moment. You can see right through to the blue back there. All right. And then... I'm going to do one over here. Do one back here, and you can do it different sizes, they don't all have to be the exact same size. Do one next to this one. And I've got my brushes off to the side. Um, you want to make sure that, especially if you haven't used them in a while, you dip them in your water and put them off to the side, like on a paper towel or something, so that they don't get paint stuck up in them if you leave them out too long without cleaning them and you don't put water on them then it could dry. So just be careful of that. All right. I'm going to do one in here. I'm just going to kind of make it lean in a little bit. towards the middle and this can be really fun you don't really have to worry too much about it just kind of have fun doing these thick lines there's one right next to it And then another one. I can get some phyllo blue and phyllo green. Just kind of make it 
dark, but still kind of like maybe it's slightly farther back. And I'm going to get some of that like bluish color and do get some water if it's not wanting to go into the canvas very good I'm going to do one right here. Don't really have a whole lot of room left. I'm going to do this big one. Up some more of this. And go back to the first ones that I did and give them another coat.
those I uh, just did not too long ago, so I'm going to let them dry a little bit more before I go over them. Alright, so now I'll take my Lunar Blender, take this brown color, and go over it a little bit more. I'm going to rinse that out of my brush. And I'm going to get some of this yellow ochre and burnt sienna. Something is not looking right here. Let me see. Alright. Get a little bit of green. some of this brown from the road and try to it's like nothing is coming off my brush it's like all the same color I get some brown and tap in some brown brush isn't wanting to cooperate, so I'm going to do my deer foot brush. It's going to go way faster. I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna get some burnt sienna and burnt umber. Get some green. get some of this yellow and some burnt sienna and do some burnt sienna really I'm just you can just take different colors and put them in these bushes and There's just lots of different colors in here, so you can get some oranges and greens and browns and put them back here. Alright, and I want some more trees in the back. So let's see, I'm going to do a few more trees, a little bit of green and a little bit of blue just carefully kind of go over the tops of these you may need to wait for it to dry but if you're going over the ones you just did. And I'm gonna get that, uh, do 
your foot and get some green and some blue. Alright, and then make it a little lighter. Okay, it's too bright. There you go. A little darker, and put some over these trees. Alright, I'm going to do some more on the road, so I'm going to get some burnt umber, and some blue, and some white, and more brown, alright, and then I want it a little lighter than I had, alright, and then I don't want a whole lot on my brush. And I'm just going to go over the road. some white. We can tap and go back and forth. I get to get a little bit of brown with my white. here on this side I can put a little bit of the brighter color in the, the dark. Mm. 
All right. And now I'll rinse that out. I'll get some burnt umber. And I'll just, it's kind of um, watered down a little bit. Got some brown. And I'll put some on the edges of the road. Hmm. A little too much. that out. All right, so um, before I do the last layer of these trees and cover them up completely, I want to get some brown and some blue and some green I don't want a whole lot of my brush I'm going to tap a little bit in here between the trees. So it looks like this forest is really thick. Do a little bit back here, I guess. All right, and then I'm going to get some of this see green and some blue for these trees that came down. Get some of that dark color. Okay. All right. So now rinse that out. And I'm going to get my <clears throat> angle brush again. Get that like dark color for the trees. I'm gonna try to do some small branches or small little bushes and stuff back here.
make it really thick back here. Lots of It's too thick of a branch that I did, so I'm gonna take that off. Oh my goodness, I don't know how that got on there. I'll get, I'll get that off later when I do the... The, um... Leaves and stuff on the ground. to get some more blue and do more on these large trees fill them in again
All right. So, got that good. It's kind of a little bit funky on the outside of that one, so I just add a little bit more paint. All right, and I just lifted that up. Okay, just stop messing with that right now. Um, I'm going to get my deer foot and get some of the burnt sienna and go over the tr trunks again. Alright, and now I'll get some of my yellow. I'm going to get some of this cadmium yellow. I haven't used it yet. Get my little splendor and go over that a little bit. get a little bit of white and the yellow and the burnt sienna and go over some of this Get some green. And some of that yellow. You get kind of a brighter green. I'm going to get more yellow and some white and just do some bright green. 
in a few spots. And I'm kind of running out of my colors. Get some of this yellow and some burnt sienna. get my angle brush. We're really almost done. Just got to put in a few more things here. I'm going to do a bush over here. And I might just try to co cover that tree. So you don't have to do it again. some of this dark color and just kind of go over some of these areas that are dark. I want I wanted a few more trees there and oof, I've got a lot of yellow on my brush so I'm just gonna rinse that out. Get some white go over the tops of trees I just did a little bit. It's kind of getting some yellow in there. I was using yellow a minute ago. Not really like it that it's turning it yellow, but I guess it's not totally bad. It's okay. And to get some of that green. Alright, and my trees and stuff are going to need to be dry before I do my sun rays, but before I do that, I just want to get everything else finished. So I'm going to get some yellow and some whites, maybe just a little bit of that orange. It's not super bright.
and kind of flick up and make some like grass. All right, and I think I'm almost done. I will get some of this like yellow and burnt sienna and do some of it on this tree bush over here. And I'll get some white. And I'll just kind of go over it some. And I also want to do some, get some burnt umber and some burnt sienna. So you get kind of a reddish brown and do some over here. can just take some kind of like straight yellow and go over a few spots and it'll kind of change whatever color it is to be more yellow. So now I think all that I'm going to do now is do the sun rays, but my trees are still a little bit wet. So I'm going to have to let them dry before I can move on. Alright, so now I'm going to get some white and glazing liquid. And before you do this, you want to rinse your brushes out real good because you don't want to have like brown or blue or something in this for the sun rays. So this is um, golden gloss glazing liquid. So it's clear. It will 
when I add it to my white, it will help me to get like a clear, transparent look. So I'm going to get the glazing medium and a little bit of my white. All right, and what I'm going to do is the sun rays here are kind of like slipping down and then up here they're kind of across a little bit more and then they kind of, um, there's some that come down this way. So we're going to do several different angles. So I'm going to start it like over here. And I'm just going to brush on just barely pushing on just a little bit and I don't want it to be too much just a little bit And I'm just going to get a tiny touch of the cadmium yellow because there's a little bit of like a yellow kind of color. I think I'm actually ended up getting some of that dark color. It's like not dry there. I'm just not gonna mess with that over there anymore then. Some glazing liquid. I think that's all I'm going to do. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but get have some light coming down. So I think that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my Faber Castell um, pen here. And it's a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. And I'm going to sign my name. And um, also make sure that when you're done painting, you wash your brushes out really good with soap and water, not just water. So that they'll last longer. All right. So, and you can use a, um, you can use a small brush to sign your name, but I like using the pen. All right, so, ooh, I think the power almost went out and there's bad weather outside. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a like and subscribe if you did. I uh, post a new video every Friday, so if you want to see some of my other videos, you can hit Emily Powers Art. And right under the video, right below the video, it should say Emily Powers Art, and that would take you to my channel. And I'm going to put up on the screen the schedule that I have for the rest of this month. So um, you can see the next two paintings we're doing, the next 
to Fridays. So if you want to see those, they will be on my channel soon. And also, um, thought I was going to say again that um, I just opened my Etsy shop. So if you haven't um, checked that out, that's in the description, a link to that. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye.